Right, today's project is to fit this to my lathe. It's a uh, pilot chuck ER25. Um, it's for the Myford because it's got the uh, screw thread in here. So that screws on, and then I've got to just make up a registration face on there to fit on there. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get that over to the lathe and uh, get stuck in. I might, um, might actually put an extension piece on um, if I've got any stock big enough to do it. Um, which I haven't, so I won't be putting an extension piece on at this time. I might put it on later if I need it. But I know the tool distance is quite difficult to reach the um, chuck. Right, let's get this chuck off and uh, get the other one on. As you can see on the Myford we've got this uh, screw thread. I have got um, another chuck that I use in there. I normally just put a, um, just a normal standard MT2 chuck with a, a dead center, um, with a, a drawbar, sorry, not dead center, with a, with a drawbar to hold it in, but it has its limitations because if I've got this on with a drawbar, then I can't use my handle. So if I was doing some threading on the uh, chuck, then uh, on the collar, then I wouldn't be able to do it. So I'm hoping this is gonna be successful. Very good start. Hmm. Strange. because it's new I think so I've got to turn that down now so that it will fit onto there so I get a nice registration surface compatible with my lathe right we've got 36 36 there uh, 36 36 20 well very a little bit actually. 3630. Well, I'm going to have to take that off and put the compound on. I'm going to have to stick the tool right out, which I didn't really want to do, but that's the only way I'm going to get it, and that's what I'll have to do. Yeah. Let's see where about that. Right. Okay. Let's. Uh, Give it a whirl. Whatsoever. Great. So, let's get a couple of bolts in that. Hang on. Make sure there's no chips in there. Hmm. 
So I thought that was a scratch in there, but it's not. It's just a little uh, bit of swarf. Right, proof of the pudding now. Let's get an indicator on it and uh, see how it uh, works. Right, I've got it set up now. Let's measure it. Let's put a mark on so we've got a so you know when we've got a full revolution. So it's on 13. Oh, I think I've wiped the mark off, but anyway, doesn't matter. It's within. So within two thousandths of a millimeter, which is well within the bearing tolerance, um, so I'm not going to get it any better than that. I'm quite happy with that. Good job. That's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.